<laughs> All right, we need to talk about the weather as we uh, talk about the fair. So hopefully good fair weather this weekend, Amber. Yeah, so today because it's opening day, they're opening at 5 p.m. as you heard. That's why Patch is a little sleepy, but I'm sure Patch will be awake once they open the gates at 5 p.m. Uh, but then normal times will be about 11 a.m. when they open uh, the gates probably tomorrow. But here's a look. So temperatures are going to be nice and comfy at 5 at 7, 74 degrees. And then as the evening goes on, the sun doesn't set until just after 730. So by 8 p.m., it's going to be a little dark, a little bit more mild, and those winds are gusting up. So bring a jacket, bring a hoodie just to keep you warm. And then once the gates close, they close at 11 p.m. tonight. It's going to be about 54 degrees. Oh, 56 it just turned to. All right, but if you're headed to Pomona and you're waiting for the gates to open, here's a look at what it feels like right now. They're looking at cloudy conditions, just like a lot of places west of the mountains. We have the overcast skies, and then by noon, upper 60s. And then the hour before the gates open, temperatures will stay in the mid-70s. Here's a look at what we're dealing with today on this Friday. So May gray from the coast to the valleys. We will see the sunshine for the second half of the day. It's going to stay dry through tomorrow morning. And then by tomorrow, we're looking at this next system moving down the coast. So this next unseasonably cold storm system is going to bring us some light rain, some showers, because we are getting the tail end of it here in Southern California by Saturday night. So we could see anywhere from, by, from about a tenth of an inch to a quarter inch of rain with the system lingering into possibly the early part of Sunday. And then it should be out of here for the second half of Sunday. So there's that system where it's originating from. That's why it's going to be a little bit cold. And some spots, if you're not going to see rain, you're probably going to see a little bit more wind. So we have a wind advisory for the high deserts, the mountains, and also the low deserts like the Coachella Valley. Those west winds gusting up to about 55 miles per hour from tomorrow afternoon through Sunday night. Here's a quick look at the future cast. So by tomorrow morning, we'll have the low clouds and fog again. We could see some drizzle being squeezed out. It'll be pretty cloudy for much of Saturday. It's going to be really different than today. And then we start to see that system move in Saturday night into the early part of Sunday. We start to see a little bit more of that rain. So by Sunday morning, the Inland Empire and also portions of southern Orange County will be hit with a little bit more of that rain coming down. And then you can see by Sunday afternoon, we are clearing up and drying out just in time for your Cinco de Mayo plans. LA and Orange County, 72 today. The weekend's going to be much cooler with that system rolling in, upper 60s. The good news is that this is a quick moving system. So by the start of next week, we're slowly rebounding back into the 70s, back into that comfy weather. Temperatures today a little closer to 80s for the valleys, then dropping to the upper 60s tomorrow as we wait for that system, then mid-60s by Sunday, and then the 80s won't return for the valleys until the end of next week. 80 degrees today for the Inland Empire. Big drop in temperatures tomorrow in the mid-70s, and then once that system rolls in, Sunday we're looking at a high of 66. Kalina? All right, let's take a look right now at SkyCal overhead on the 405 in Brentwood where we don't have a lot going on, which is great. We love to see this to and from the 10. However, we do have an incident on the 405. This is northbound at Nordoff. That right lane is blocked off. So far, not a heavy backup, but southbound side, you'll get that slowing that you usually do as you make your way through the Spolvita Pass. Road work 14 north from Avenue L to Avenue J still happening. Take Sierra Highway or 30th to go ahead and get around that. Commute time on the southbound 14 from Sand Canyon to the 5. That'll take you 25 minutes to get through. Quick look at Orange County, very quiet, looks great in Santa Ana right now on the 5 freeway. Inland Empire, though, you are still slowing down. We have this crash through the Cajon Pass southbound side at Clegporn on the shoulder. The backup, though, here you can see in the next traffic camera, really slow, almost an hour southbound from Joshua Street to the 215. Sheba, back to you. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.